What's up guys welcome back to another video Infinix have launched its new smartphone called Infinix Hot 10 Play we have already received the review unit and the device comes with 4GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage so let's check out what all things we get inside the box so inside the box first impression we get to see the device so let's keep the device aside first after that we have one charger inside the box along with USB cable which is USB to micro USB we don't get type C charging cable here after that we also get few documentation and they have also added a screen protector inside the box which is a good thing a small sim rejector tool and at last we also have a case for this device which is of hard plastic and the charger what we get inside the box is a 5 watt charger and it takes around 3 hours to completely charge the device from 0 to 100 so let's keep everything aside and take a look at the device so here we have the device you can see a stickering which says infinix hot 10 play which comes with a 6000 mAh battery let's remove these protections from the device and complete the setup meanwhile our device turns on let's quickly take a look at the hardware specifications of the device device comes with mediatek helio g35 octa core processor and currently we have only one variant available which is of 4 gb with 64 gb of internal storage display on the device is 6.82 inch hd plus Battery on this device is a massive battery which is of 6000 mAh. We also get to see 13 megapixel AI dual camera with slow motion video plus 8 megapixel of selfie camera. And device also have two LED flash, one in the front and the second one in the back. Operating system on this device is XOS 7.0 which is based on Android 10. And Infinix Hot 10 Play will come in four color variants. Agen Blue, Morandi Green, 7 Degree Purple and Obsidian Black. And company says this device is meant for entertainment purpose as it comes with a massive 6000 mAh battery and a huge display. Let's also quickly take a look at the physical overview of the device. Towards the bottom side we get one microphone, charging port and also a 3.5mm headphone jack. Towards the left hand side we have this SIM tray which is 3-in-1 card slot which supports two SIM cards and one micro SD card. Device can support up to 256GB of storage. Device doesn't come with the speaker towards the bottom side wherein we have one speaker on the top side of the device along with front facing camera. Towards the right hand side we have volume rocker and a power button. And towards the back side we have this dual AI camera with an LED flash along with fingerprint scanner and a branding of Infinix. In hand feel of the device is pretty good. Talking about the display as I said device comes with 6.82 inch HD plus display with an aspect ratio of 20.5 is to 9 and the screen is to body ratio is 90.6% with very less edges on the display. And talking about the brightness of the device it comes with 440 nits of brightness and you don't face any kind of issues using the device under direct sunlight. And the display of the device comes with energy glass protection. Hot and play comes with this floor texture design with glass finish on the back. Talking about the OS on the device, device runs on XOS Dolphin which is powered by Android 10 operating system. And we don't have any exact date when device is gonna get Android 11 though the security patch update is also outdated. Device is still running with 5th Feb 2021 security patch. Infinix Hot 10 Play also have this lightning fast face unlock and fingerprint unlock. As it's a budget device, it doesn't come with the in-display fingerprint scanner, though we have a physical access to fingerprint scanner towards the back side. And unlocking the device with fingerprint unlock or face unlock is pretty fast. Also, there are lots of additional features available on this device. Like you can accept the calls using your fingerprint scanner and also you can dismiss the alarm. Also, with related to battery, they have a new feature called Power Marathon, where you get to see this power boost option which enables dark theme and enables other stuff like adaptive brightness, disable vibrator, disable action and gestures, optimize volume, disable wake screen for notifications. So these are the options available under power boost. After that we also have an ultra power saving mode which can help you extend your battery life up to approximate 300 hours in any kind of emergency. So once you enable that you'll only have access to phone application, messaging, calendar, etc. You also get this gaming mode while you are gaming from where you can access your WhatsApp, Chrome, take screenshot, you can also do screen recording. And the best part of this gaming mode is you can add magic buttons where you can use your volume up or down button to add additional controls in any game. So that's a good part about this device. Another feature what I personally liked on this device is video assistant. So if you're using any OTT app like Currently I am using Prime Videos, you just need to swipe and hold 
that will open up video assistant from where you can take screenshots record your shows if you want to we get option to play in the background and you can also enable incoming call reject message do not disturb and if you want you can also have access to whatsapp and other applications you also get to see few smart gestures like tapping to wake the device music gestures flip to mute take screenshot with three fingers raise to ear to take the incoming call smart screen on flash for calls and i think other brands also need to add such gestures and features on their flagship devices and lastly let's also talk about camera with these budget device don't expect a great camera but overall picture quality was pretty good i'll share few samples in a while first let's take a look at the features so here we have the ai camera then you can also record videos in slow motion beauty mode is available bokeh is available under videos maximum resolution what you can record video is 1080p you can use fingerprint scanner to click pictures or record videos. Another best part of this device is we get to see this front facing flash and which is quite helpful in taking selfies in low light conditions. Hot 10 Play also have this AI gallery which auto detects and delete duplicate blurry and dark pictures. Again a quite handy feature. Here are a few samples taken with Hot 10 Play and the picture quality seems to be decent. In some cases device was struggling in focus as you can see here in these pictures but I think that can be fixed using a software update. Pictures taken in portrait mode using front and back camera. I personally felt device was slightly overexposing the pictures. But let's see whether Infinix fixes these issues via software updates or not. Now talking about my impression about Hot 10 Play, being a budget device, I'm really happy to see tons of features which are available on this device. This device is meant for entertainment purpose and with that massive 6000mAh battery, you'll easily get 24 hours of video playback. It would have been really great if Infinix would have added slightly bigger charger and may have a support of fast charging, but that's not a big concern. Overall, it's a great package and value for money. Sale of this device will start on 19th April and the introductory price will be 8,499 Indian rupees. So guys, that was the quick unboxing and overview of Infinix Hot 10 Play. As of now, only this much in this video. Hope you guys like the video. If you like the video, then do give me a thumbs up. And also, if you are new to our channel, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.